Ladies, gentlemen, and Haradrim of all ages, recently I've been farming the absolute hell out of Duriel every chance that I get. And finally, after nearly 200 kills at this point, I had my second uber unique drop. And this one was the increasingly sought after Melted Heart of Selig Amulet, an absolute beauty. However, sadly, I did get it on my rogue, which I would argue is quite possibly the class least able to take proper advantage of it, at least in its current state. Regardless, I have it. It's a really cool item. And given that even now in the age of uber uniques being relatively acquirable, they are still somewhat rare, I thought it would be a good idea to give it a little test, talk about it a bit, how to use it, when it is good versus when it isn't so good, the pros, the cons, some nice synergies that I found now that I can actually test it, and just really give it a bit of a spotlight. First and foremost then, this thing is designed to make you an absolute tank. The effect itself makes it so anytime you take damage, for every 1% life that you would have lost, you instead lose 3 of your resource, unless you run out of resource, at which point you start losing health like normal. Essentially the idea is it takes your resource meter and makes it double up as a secondary barrier, draining that when it taking damage before losing your actual health. This is super strong defensively, and the rest of the item itself is actually pretty decent offensively too, with the effect itself also giving you 30 bonus maximum resource, and the affixes at max ranks being 27 to all stats, which is pretty decent, 29.2% bonus core skill damage, which is pretty meaty if you use core skills with this, 35.3% damage while healthy, which of course means while you have resource with this is that will keep you from losing your actual health, and then 18.5% bonus resource generation to help keep up with the drain from the effect itself. With all of that said, is this uber unique good? What kinds of builds does it excel with? What types of builds would I totally ignore with it? Well, the cream of the crop of builds to use with this are ones that just have such insane resource generation that they don't really need to worry about it. I know it is near the top of Josh's wishlist for Ball Lightning Sorcerer, and the idea is that the build overcaps on mana so hard and so often that Selig would just be pure tankiness added in. Otherwise, Hammer of the Ancients Barbarian is incredible with it, as Hammer of the Ancient's damage scales with maximum resource, which this gives you bonus of, and Barb with its shouts actually combos really, really well with this as it often overcaps you on resource when you activate them, and on top of that, they work as cooldowns to activate that negate the main issue I'll mention about this in a minute. Those are the top tier build options for this is making Ball Lightning near invincible without losing much is great, and Hammer the Ancient's Barbarian gains a ton of tankiness while also still getting to take advantage of the core skill damage affix and gaining damage from the bonus maximum resource on the item anyways. The next best ones to use this with are any build that focuses mainly on basic skills or cooldowns. Essentially, if you don't really use any skills that spend your resource actively, something like Stormclaw Druid or more basic Arclass Sorcerer, or even something like Infinimus Necro. The idea being that if you aren't spending your resource for offense very frequently, you may as well have it work as a purely defensive option. And it is very, very strong if you do that. If all your natural resource generation goes towards tankiness because of this, it really adds a lot to your build survivability. The bad situations to use this in then are pretty much any other kind of build than the ones that I've mentioned. If you spend your resource actively to do your proper damage, and your resource generation isn't absolutely nuts overkill, then Selig will actually hurt you in the long run because of one really unfortunate interaction. If you get hit hard enough that you run out of resource, you obviously can no longer spend your resource on your core skills, which means you lose a lot of your offensive ability in the builds that spend that. Any build made around core skills thus has this damage completely neutered while at no resource, and because of how Selig works, with every bit of incoming damage trying to drain resource before health, you can get yourself stuck in a sort of loop where you have no resource and not enough resource coming in to outpower the incoming drain from the damage you're taking. So you can't use your core skills at all, and then you just slowly die because you can't do damage and you can't get your resource back, which means you're just slowly taking damage and losing life as a result. And because of this, I don't really recommend using this item in most builds that rely on core skills. But if you do have it and want to use it anyways, there is a fun trick you can use to get around this a bit, which is the Tybalt's Will Pants. Part of the unique effect on this item is anytime you gain the unstoppable buff, you get a nice big pop of resource generation, which can dig you out of the hole of low resource hell with Selig. And yes, th this does happen a couple of times in the dungeon that I ran. As an example, there is footage of this happening in the background a couple of times because Rogue just isn't one of the better classes with this. And as you can see, it is a really rough time if it happens, unless you can fix it with something like the Tybalt's Will interaction that I mentioned here. I also have seen people ask about pairing Selig with the Starlight aspect, which gives you resource regeneration every time you heal a certain amount, especially this season with high attack speed and the Undying vampiric power providing loads of healing, but unfortunately what the starlight aspect does is not quite working with this, because it actually does not proc when you overheal or if you add healing to a barrier like through Temerity, so it is actually a complete anti-synergy with Selig, because Selig's whole point is to stop you from losing your actual life, and the starlight aspect only counts if you've actually healed some life, which means that you don't get any resource from it while Selig is active, meaning that it only actually helps you if you are already at the point of losing your actual health, which is a really negative place to be within the first place. 
past that, if you really want to maximize selling specifically, having bonus maximum resources is actually a really big deal. The effect takes away three of your resource per 1% life that you would have lost. It doesn't take away a percentage of your resource, and because that three is a flat number, that means having bonus maximum resource increases the effectiveness of selling before you start losing your normal health, which is part of why Hammer of the Ancient Barbarian pairs so well with this, as they hunt for bonus maximum resource anyways as a way to increase their damage. All in all, I'm happy to have this drop, and once my druid is high enough level to actually equip it, it will be transferred over to that character permanently to be used in basic skill focused builds, which should be quite fun. But I think that just about covers the important things about this uber unique now that I've had some time with it in my own possession. Its power is actually insanely high in the builds that it synergizes with properly, but when it doesn't synergize with your build, it can actually be an active negative. This isn't an uber unique that you should just instantly, without thought, slot into your build the second it drops, but if you use it in the right situation, in the right way, if you build around the fact that it exists within your build, it can have an absolutely insane effect on your survivability that few if any other singular items in the game can match. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this in action then, and hopefully it either helps you out if you got this yourself and weren't sure what to do with it, or it lets you know how much you do or do not actually want to hunt for this and farm it from Duriel himself. Like if you liked the video, subscribe to the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye